opening form down seven up down right so it's continuous motion so when we're doing together we're doing this down and up and I was creating my chest up opening to invite her to also open okay today we did something slightly different so I'm not that out I'm just bringing her forward one step I'm keeping my leg in the same place and I can create up down bounce and then I let her go change her weight to the back and I could go to lash it out or I could go to lunge anytime I'm in this position right? and lunge come back to lash it out this way okay. so we did this one up down bounce and you see we had the same kind of preparation which is my chest opening which opens her chest and then I can just close I just I just uh, need my leg to plie I'm not squatting it's different than it's different than squatting. It's like I am putting pressure into the ground, so there's more tension, like a spring. Wait, what is this about? Okay. Hmm. So we have this connection here, and then I will have a little bounce to prepare to come back up. Yeah. Usually we'll just do it like a continuous, like I will have like a down, and then I'll have an extra little bounce at the bottom. It will cause her head to feel like she's pulling. I could do together. We can both do. You only do it together all the time because then you guys don't need to move head as much. Okay? So that was one way. And we also had, if I give her a little space and I also move back, so now we're both on our back foot more, then we can do a wave together. Right? Why do I need to make space? If we are both forward and then I also just ask her to come forward, there's no preparation, we can't really shift our weight. Right? If we're already forward and we go more forward, it's just awkward. And it's not comfortable. So we shift and then we go together. And we, we have to use our arm a little bit, but it's not that I just go with my arm and move this arm. Yeah? It's that there's just more space and then we come together. Okay? So we try to communicate the feeling in the body through here. And then the last one is just, I can also just roll her back up. Okay? Rolling, it's just like she's there and I'm just leading her more like diagonally back slowly. The problem with rolling up is that if her hair is down, then it's just going to end up in her face. Yeah. So she she can do some things if she wants to. Yeah, she can flip her head. She could use her other hand to do her hair. Yeah. Or this is too easy. Yeah. Um. So, but be mindful of your partner. If they have really long hair and it always ends up in their face and they don't know how to get it out, like if they are kind of new, don't keep doing that to them. You know, like don't make them feel stupid. Okay? Yes. If they know how to get their hair out, give them some fine. chance to like trick their hair. Or like if you want to do that kind of rolling, if you want to do that kind of rolling, this is fine because why? Because she has an extra hand. So she can easily use this hand. But don't do it like this. And like, huh, you have no choice, but you look stupid. <laughs> She's fine because she has her hair back, but if you force them like that, they're not gonna be so happy. Okay? Um so yeah, it's just like that, and you just have three different options. And you just need to be able to communicate clearly which one. So you have to think about the kind of preparation. You could also just combine them. Or um, you can do, you can combine, you can change into other things too. Maybe we'll talk about that next week. Like we can change directly, as long as we have a good connection. That's why it's important, we're not just using the arms. If I just like use my arms, it's not connected to our body. I'm like here, it's like, you know, why, why would she be able to lunge, right? But if we, practice this and we're here with this elevation, I can easily indicate, oh, you can maybe move your way here. Um, and the most important thing for rhythm is that you step again on a boom. So if I'm like, boom, chi, chi, boom. I wait, chi, chi, boom. Don't step in between the beat. Don't do boom, chi, chi, boom, chi, chi, you're gonna be off time. And your follower, if she has any sense of the music, she's going to hate it. <laughs> so just wait, take your time. Wait, okay, change your weight. Wait. Mm. And if you have more time than you need to kill because you're waiting for the beat, try to have continual, <laughs> sorry, I'm almost done. Try to have continual motion. So don't do like, oh, I'm here. And I'm like, cheek, cheek. No, just like, I'm like, I'm here. Cheek, cheek, boom. Yeah? And keep motion in between. Catch the one.